I've had a few people asking me where all the build guide videos are that I promised to make. You probably know that I made a solo player Dark Zone build, but aside from that, I haven't really uploaded anything else. Oddly enough, I've actually spent most of my time in this game on trying to come up with new builds and trying them out both in challenge mode and in the Dark Zone versus other players. But I feel that, at the moment, the PvP of this game is really imbalanced, so much to a point where players that want to play PvP in somewhat of a meaningful way are limited to just a few options when it comes down to weapons, skills and all that stuff, which really is a shame since this game is supposed to be a game about building your character in different ways and coming up with different strategies. I tried out a lot of different builds, for example one of them was the combat medic which required you to, as the name says, be the support but also be able to still fight with the team. Uh, you had the support station, the smart cover and the recovery link and I had a lot of stuff built around that. For example, my weapon had talents that would reduce skill cooldowns for every headshot that I had, and the radius of my healing station and smart cover was also a lot bigger than it normally is, and I had talents working together in ways so that I still had reliable burst healing for my team. And this worked fantastic in challenge mode missions, we literally plowed through all the enemies as if they were nothing, because my whole team did almost double the damage than that they normally do, and they would receive almost half of the incoming damage, and on top of that, they would also be at full health most of the time. In the Dark Zone, however, it was a little bit of a different story. It isn't that we died a lot, or that the whole thing didn't work, or that we weren't able to kill other players, or anything like that. But there was never a moment in the Dark Zone where I could really say to myself, or to the team, uh, something like, wow, that build that we had, or this setup that we have, that really helped us out. Usually, we won the fights, but we only won them simply because we had them outnumbered, or we were outgeared, or we caught them by surprise, or maybe their signature skills were on cooldown. And more often than not, using any other skill or even any other talent than those that I already talked about in my solo player Dark Zone build would actually hurt us more than that it did good. It made the gameplay a lot more gimmicky, so to speak. For those who of course haven't seen my solo Dark Zone build, a uh, really quick summary would be to pretty much spec yourself into damage with a little bit of health, get yourself an SMG as your primary and a sniper as your secondary, and then use the first aid, the pulse and the survivor link as your skills. That is pretty much the solo player build. There's a little more to it, but I won't go too in depth. Weirdly enough though, the best way that I found to play with a four-man squad is exactly just like that. You have four players going a damage-heavy build with uh, everybody running an SMG and a sniper. Then you have everybody run with the pools, the first eight, and of course also the survivor link. And moving away from this setup just a little bit would not necessarily suck, but you and your squad would also be not as effective when it comes down to killing other players in the dark zone. And I think that is quite a big issue, not only for me, yeah, I mean, I cannot make any meaningful build guides that I truly believe in myself, but I think it's also not good for the game if this is your only option. So instead of giving you a build or a guide on how to build your character in a squad, I'm just going to talk about the current state of the Dark Zone, the PvP, and what is currently wrong with it in my opinion. So hopefully, if uh, a lot of players agree with me, the developers can maybe work on this. You know, they've been asking for feedback, and uh, here's mine. So, let's start things off with where I believe the biggest issue lies, and that is the skills. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now is a, a tier list that I made of all the skills in their current state. And you will see that, as I said, that the pulls and the first eight are top tier, and in my opinion, there is never a good enough reason to put these aside for something else. Then, you have some more situational skills, like the smart cover, the healing station, and the sticky bomb. And these skills are not entirely useless, they can actually help you in some situations, but the times that these skills help you in a fair PvP fight is far lower than either the pools or the first eight. So therefore, you know, they're more situational. And then the remaining skills like the Ballistic Shield, the Auto Turret, the Seeker Mine and the Mobile Cover are in my opinion just borderline useless in player versus player combat. Now, um, I don't necessarily believe that any of these skills are inherently bad, I don't believe they are bad by design. But the problem is often is that they are severely overshadowed and made completely obsolete because of a whole lot of factors. Now one of them, and probably the biggest one, is the signature skills. Simply put, the signature skills are way too strong. And now, before you jump at me and say that the signature skills are supposed to be strong, you know, I know that. I know what they do. But they're also meant to be balanced out with their huge cooldowns. And right now, I don't really think the longer cooldowns do a whole lot for it. I think it's safe to say that you never see a fight without signature skills used, and that is a bad thing. Now, this is partly due to the fact that it is very easy not to fight in the division. 
I am guessing that the idea of an ultimate came from the MOBA genre or something. It's very common there for heroes or characters to have ultimate abilities. They have a huge impact and they have long cooldowns, but it mostly worked there because you consistently have to fight and you have to decide wisely when you want to use it. In the division, you do not consistently fight. If you want to go rogue, you can wait until everybody's signature skill is ready, and then you go in. And any fight that happens after that, for example, people chasing you and trying to kill you, uh, you will only need to use one signature skill per fight, because one, they do not stack, two, one signature skill applies it to the whole team, and three, they usually last for as long as the fights last. So if you only use one or two survivor links every time that you walk into other players, you will always have at least one of them available. And if you don't, you just keep running. And this is where a lot of the RPG elements lose their meaning, because one survivor link gives you 80% damage reduction, 30% movement speed, full immunity, and an extra health bar if you manage to get to zero health anyway. There is no longer a need for a tank or a healer in a team, since during the signature skills nobody can really die, and if they do then you severely messed up. This means that in theory a well organized squad can have 4 damage carries and still have up to a full minute of almost being invulnerable on the mat. And that pretty much destroys everything that this game stands for, cover based RPG shooting. I don't really think there's a counterplay to signature skills other than to run away or to activate them yourself. And if you decide to activate them yourself as well, then it's still not cover based shooting. I mean just watch any clip of rogues fighting each other. The fight usually becomes a messy dodge roll battle trying to pick off another player or maybe even bait out the next signature skill prematurely. I have literally had moments where I was just playing or seeing someone else play and I thought to myself, what's even going on? This isn't cover based shooting, this isn't the game that I bought, this just looks silly. In the dark zone, this really isn't a cover based game, because if you sit still behind cover, bam, signature skill and four unkillable agents just run up to you and all you can do is run away or die. Now the final point that I wanted to make as to why some of these skills just do not work in PvP is because the entire way that the dark zone is set up. Those players who are looking to PvP are usually the ones who end up being marked as a rogue, this is very normal. Thing is however is that it is in a rogue's player's best interest to stay on the move. If you stay in one place for too long a lot of the non-rogue players will start to gather up and eventually overwhelm you. But you also want to stay on the move because the only way to lose your rogue status is to be out of combat. And therefore after the initial couple of fights your only option is to keep running or eventually get killed as a rogue agent. And again this is where a lot of the skills on both ends of the spectrum lose a lot of value. If you are the rogue player you cannot set up proper defenses and expect to defend versus uh, 8 or maybe 10 guys every time. So you stay on the move. And as a non-rogue player trying to kill the rogue agents you usually end up playing cat and mouse where the rogues will consistently try to run away until they find themselves in a position where they see fit for a good opportunity to fight now when they're seeing four players all set up with smart cover mobile cover and a healing station that's probably not such a good opportunity to fight so what do the rogue players do well they just turn around and if the non-rogue players actually want to kill the rogue agents well, then you're going to have to chase them, again, making the skills pretty useless or situational at best. And these are just a few reasons why I believe that the skills need to be looked at for PvP. Now, um, I did also want to go over as to why certain talents on both your character and your weapons are so overpowered compared to the others, and why crowd control is currently so underwhelming. But I'm looking at the time right now and I'm thinking that might be something for a later video. For now, I think this is enough feedback. I'm also not quite sure yet how this kind of video will be received, it's focused towards the developers more than anything, and before I dedicate a whole hour to this, uh, to tell you everything that's wrong or unbalanced about the Dark Zone, I think it's a good idea to ask you what you think about all of this. As it stands right now, I find it very difficult to find any meaningful PvP in this game, and when I finally do see some even fights between decent players, it usually ends up in people just rolling around from left to right, baiting out the next signature skill, and it is anything but cover-based shooting. Now that tells me that something might be wrong here, but uh, hey, <laughs> I'm not a game developer, this is merely my feedback from my experience, so take it for what it is. And that, that was all for today. As always, I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later, or like they say, in the Netherlands. See you later! <laughs>